Would you welcome the BBC Sports Personality of the Year, Mark Cavendish. <laughs> Well, what a night. That's incredible. Um, well, it's humbling, really, it's humbling. Uh, thank you f for that. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> I don't know if people could see at home, actually. Certainly couldn't see obviously on Five Live. Another, another huge standing ovation, because I think even non-cycling fans understand what you've, what you've managed to achieve over the last 12 months or so. But funnily enough, after, after you'd received that award, we were talking about the speech and saying, no matter how much, you're always in control. When you're on a bike, you're in control. But that speech was a bit daunting, wasn't it? I, I'm never like that. I'm never shaken. I'm never lost for words. As well, Pete will tell you that, I think. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm, I, I, like like you said, I'm never, never out of control of the situation. You know, it's it's massive. It's it's quite daunting. Actually, you see the names on this trophy, and you think, uh, for me, it's an honour to be to be alongside these people. Mo was talking actually about how he, you know he remembered watching it as a kid. Can you remember the first time you watched and who won it, or you know, or, or, or what sort of era we're talking about? Gaza and people like that—is it probably? I can remember we were watching it, but uh, to be honest, I wasn't that sporty growing up, you know. <laughs> <laughs> tell us more. Well, I was, I was just a bit of a nerd, really. Like, you know? <laughs> <laughs> when did you stop being a nerd? When you got a bike? Yeah. Really, when, it's, when, it, when I got... When That's a great advertising slogan. Don't be a nerd, get a bike. Honestly, <laughs> just imagine. It's just there. Who at some point, I'd, li I'd like 5%, please, if anybody well, is don't, there. But don't wear a cycling cap indoors or you look like a more of a nerd. Like, so. <laughs> <laughs> and so what, what age were you when you suddenly thought, actually, this might be more than just fun, going out on a bike, but actually I could compete at this? And Well, I start, I'll just give you a, a brief history of do. time and space or whatever. Yeah, do yeah, that. Mark. Do your entire CV. Yeah. Yeah. No, uh, well, I started cycling. I was always on a bike when I was little. Always liked to be messing about on a bike, just doing BMX trials or just with my friends in the park. And I went to a league when I was like 11. And uh, I was on a BMX, it was one mountain bikes, and I was coming last. And I said to my mum, oh, you know, if I have a bike like the others, I could, I could win, you know? And I got one for my birthday, went down, I was winning straight away. I was about 12 at this point. 13, I started to go to England and... Uh, you start winning there, you know, in, in the Northwest, in the Merseyside divisions, and uh, so I won the Merseyside divisions, went to, went to the British Championships, won that, and then the next year after I went to Europe, I was winning there, and I think from the minute I was winning the British Champs, I was winning by such a margin that I kind of knew I was quite good, like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a man there for whom next year, and for you, it's, it's going to be huge. Can, can you... How about both of you being Olympic champions next year? That'd be rather good, wouldn't it? Incredible, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would definitely be amazing. <laughs> well, Mo, but tell us, give us your appreciation of, of him, because the dedication... You know, your, your sport involves, you know, doing hours and hours and hours and hours and then more hours, but then so does his. Yeah, uh, uh, first of all, when I saw Mark, uh, you know, on, you know, on TV you look massive, but, like, <laughs> when you see him in real life, I'm like, wow. Because, you know, sometimes as an athlete, when you're injured... Um, I go on the bike, just go for like half an hour, an hour, and that's hard, hard work. So I don't know how he does it. <laughs> I just thought he'd be like massive. And well, he I don't, just I don't run. I look like when I run, I look like a dwarf who, who <laughs> a, dwar a dwarf who's constipated, you know. <laughs> well, maybe you could coach each other on and in the off, in the off season. That would be well, great, you know. That'd be great. Yeah, I would definitely. I'd, I'll take that. <laughs> let's, do, let, let's do like a team triathlon. We'll get who should we get to get? Stevie Parry. Steve, Steve Parry's out there somewhere, so he could be the swimmer. Or, oh, there we go. Yeah. Like or well, Becky Addington. How about mixed triathlon? How about that? Kerry Ann Payne. Yeah, go on, Claire. That'd, that'd yeah. be good. I reckon we should definitely do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, from, from your perspective, next year, you know, I asked Mo the same question, but for you, it could, you know, it could be the year to end all years. You never want to sort of jinx things. 
but Olympics, you know, obviously the Tour de France is always the, the pinnacle for you, and becoming a dad, it's quite, quite daunting as well, isn't it? Yeah, but we thrive off it, you know, the more things the better. I think the, 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 the idea of becoming a dad, I think I can win as many races and as many awards as I want, there's nothing that, that compares to that. I think it's the proudest, the day I found out is the proudest moment of my life, and uh, and nothing on top of that, but obviously, yeah, I think next year I'm a professional team. Um, I'm carrying the rainbow jersey, the the jersey that signifies the world champion. That's a that's a big thing for a cyclist. But uh, I think I can go in the Olympics now, and it's the first medal on offer of the games. Yeah. And I think it's carrying the the title of uh, BBC Sports Personality of the Year is uh, voted for by the nation. It shows that the nation, the public, they're behind you and, uh, and they believe in what we can achieve. So hopefully we can, we can do them proud and uh, I can get off a good start and, uh, and Mo will take us to higher, yeah. higher ground, you know.